Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a little look at what it means to start elementary school in Japan. My youngest daughter Kate will be starting elementary school in April and so we had a big meeting at the elementary school the other day to uh, you know, get all the information and details of what we need to do to be prepared for her first day of school. And part of that involved having about um, a little over $100 prepared for various different packages of supplies. Uh, rather than going to your local Walmart and buying all of your supplies there, uh, the school usually encourages you to buy your first pack of supplies through the school, and then when things run out, you can buy refills, you know, anywhere you like. But uh, they really push for everybody kind of having the same thing from the beginning, just because it makes everybody feel more comfortable and there's no competition, but there's always somebody who shows up with something cute and fancy that nobody else has. But you know, generally we try to do this. It's not like super, super enforced, but um, but this little set here I wanted to share with you guys. This was the first set of things. It's about 2,000 yen, and it has a bunch of stuff in it. There's this um, little pouch, and it's called uh, Renaku Fukuro, which is like a um, communications file. So any any communications that comes from the teacher uh, will be put into the here so that you can bring it home and show it to the parents. And um, in later years, uh, you can replace this with a character one if you want to, or they kind of do away with it completely. It depends as you get older. But that's one of the things you need. And then there's, of course, a... Um, uh, this is a free coloring, like blank page notebook for you to draw and color in when you have free time. And as you can see, it's uh, po uh, Pokemon uh, or pocket monsters. And so that's kind of cute. Uh, and these kinds of things, of course, can be replaced by some other kind of thing that you like, but kind of a fun little thing. And it tells you down here to write down what year you're in, what class you're in, and then your name. Um, and then another one of the notebooks is... This little notebook here. This is a renakcho. This is the notebook where you take this back and forth from the teacher, and the teacher leaves comments here for you. And uh, then, if we have any comments to the teacher, we can also write it here. So it's just a way of kind of communicating with the teacher without needing to, you know, call and harass him or her. Um, there's also this notebook, which is kokugo, which is a Japanese class, and it's got jumas, which means that there's ten squares. This is for when the kids start learning uh, the Chinese characters that we use in Japanese called kanji. And so this is where you can start practicing writing them. And it's kind of in a big square. Later on when you get older, uh, the squares become as small as this little quarter square inside here. But just for the beginning, this is a good way to start off. So she'll be learning to write kanji. They learn about a hundred characters in their first year. Uh, this is the Sans notebook. Sans is uh, math. So um, this particular one, again, is Pokemon, which is cute, so it's always nice when they make it cute. So, this is where we're just practicing, you know, basic addition and um, subscrap uh, subscription, <laughs> subtraction, I can't speak today, but um, basic ways of practicing writing the numbers and then, you know, doing different, just drills, just basic common drills of how to, you know, do all the plus and minus of everything. So, all good ways of practicing things, for sure. Then there's also... This nice little collection of uh, Kewpie, uh pencils, which are basically kind of like soft pencils, I guess, maybe. Wax pencils, if you will. And they're made by Sakura, so you know they're a great brand. I always laugh because when I was in art class in, in high school and college, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, we'd always get supplies from Sakura and think that it was a really high quality art brand, but it's like what we give kids to play with here in Japan. Um, the art supplies here are just amazing and quality. So this is one thing we'll have in here and um, we'll be needing to put names on everything and I'll have to put little name uh, labels with tape on them on each and every one of the pencils to make sure Everything is good. And then, of course, we have Sakura Crepas. Uh, you have to have Crepas. So <laughs> this is another thing that they ask you to make sure that you've got, you know, their name on every single one of the wrappers and, of course, on the box itself. So um, I'll be busy making name tags for sure. Um, and then in the last little set here, uh, they're making a big deal this year about trying to encourage the kids to hold their pencils right. And so part of that is to have these special pencils that have you know, that are triangular in shape, and that's supposed to help encourage them to hold them better. And so these are just 2B, which is a good starting point for kids when they're trying to first start out. It's made by uh, Tombo, which is a very good, you know, brand, of course, of pencils. And then you also need a red 
one blue pencil because people, they check their work at school in class. So having one of these will be good to have because you'll need to check work and pass it back up to the teacher. So that was the first little batch of the supplies that I got. And I'll be doing a different video for the other two just for fun to kind of separate it out. But um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys some of these. Uh, and like I said, the big deal of the making sure to label them, that becomes a huge hassle to, you know, and they sell little uh, sets of special sized, um, you know, um, uh, labels for your inkjet printers that are specific for all of these products. So they definitely know who they can get you with these. You can also specifically request to have labels made by, at your local Sanrio store too. Um, you can give them a bunch of money and they'll print out some cute little labels for you too. So a uh, big part of Japanese culture getting ready for your first year of elementary school. I'll have the other videos to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!